Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our review of The Last of Us Season 1, Episode 9, the happiest, cheeriest finale in television history. Filled with lies. Let's get philosophical, everybody, because this is... I, I, I don't know if polarizing is the right word. Controversial might be, because I think polarizing like implies that people are going to hate it. And I don't know if people are going to hate this finale. I think it's fascinating. I think it's yeah. really well done. Yeah, I think it's going to generate a lot of discussions on when is it okay, if ever, to lie and lie to someone who's a minor. Is it ever okay? Is it sometimes okay? I think there's going to be a lot of discussion on sort of that and who knows best for Ellie? Is it Marlene? Is it Joel? And why isn't Ellie getting any of the information herself to make any choices for herself? Is she too young? People are afraid. It's There's so much to talk about in this episode. Well, we're going to get into all of it knowing for well that like i think it's impossible for anyone to have quote unquote the right answer yeah no that's <laughs> absolutely true i mean yeah. it really is sort of a a matter of opinion with this and that's why i think this episode is going to generate the <laughs> most discussion out of all of them i think this finale is going to be the hardest on all of the internet commenters out there who like to go under threads and say, I'm right and accept no other alternative and think that, you know, anybody who disagrees with them is the worst person who has ever been born. Be kind, <laughs> be kind. Well, because we have up our you yeah. review for part two. And let me tell you, you want to split fan base. Yeah, that is it, man. And wow, it's the Wild West in the comments over on that video. Oh, right. Well, you know, if you guys enjoy this discussion, share it out there. You know, let's all have a big, fascinating discussion together. Let's get as many Last of Us fans in here chatting about all this because, yeah, I'm I'm sure it will be a scrum, but is there such a thing as a peaceful scrum? I mean, maybe we can find out. Yeah, we also have Succession and Yellow Jackets coming up, so also hit that subscribe button. Follow us over on our Instagram, Matt and Just TV, where we have even more discussion going on. Okay, so, you know, I, I, there's a lot of sort of different ways to view all these scenarios in this finale. I mean, we could put on, like, the big, you know, philosophy, like, professor wig and be like, <laughs> let's discuss the trolley problem. For But you know what? I don't, I, I don't think this needs to be that broad and that philosophical. It's like, okay, here's the fundamental choice for Joel in the hospital. He finds out Ellie can save, theoretically... Theoretically, that's a big part of this. Correct. It, that is really a big part of it. This is not a guarantee. Yeah. This is a chance. Yeah, there's a chance that Ellie can save all of humanity. But in doing so, she dies. She's gone. Like, that's it. And mm -hmm. that's not something Joel wants to entertain. So clearly, Joel makes the decision that he is going to go full John Rambo on everybody in this hospital as a result of of all of this and you know obviously the question that's born out here is did y'all do the right thing what is the right thing you know theoretically obviously taking people out morally is bad but you know here is the cause here is the reason why or what the firefly is doing is that morally bad yeah it's it was a very sort of interesting sort of back and forth where you know Joel wants to save Ellie. Ellie doesn't know that she's going to have to die to be able to theoretically help save people. She wasn't told everything. And I think that's the part that, besides Joel selfishly doesn't want Ellie to die, he's told her that the thing that turned everything around for him after Sarah died was not time. It's her and he said it in so many words that it's meeting ellie it's making that connection with her f you know being together that for joel he needs ellie in his life it is someone that is giving him purpose giving him just that feeling of love and caring and making a connection on a family type level like he needs her for that to continue on and i think that she needs him for that as well and for joel 
Ellie not being told everything, that's just a, a no. That that can't be it. It is both things. But then you have Marlene on the other side kind of being like, one life for everybody's life. Yeah. Like, she doesn't, you know, we made her as comfortable as possible and all this. But it's like, okay, but like she doesn't know she's going to die. Then comes in the biggest question of all, which is Ellie still doesn't know. So she didn't have a choice. She didn't actually know what was happening. And what would her choice have been? And because she is a minor, even in this world, should she have a choice because she is underage? Or should somebody, an adult, be stepping in in this type of world? Does it make any kind of difference because things have changed? And that's why I think this episode is really going to be generating so much discussion. Who's right? Who's being a hypocrite? And should Ellie know the truth? Everyone's being a hypocrite. And Ellie should know the truth. But guess what? This is a world where people don't get what they want, where the right thing doesn't always happen. And you know what? The message of The Last of Us is just shut up and <laughs> deal with it. Because that is the situation that we're ultimately presented with here is that, you know, Ellie is technically underage, but, you know, she's also gone through so much that she probably yes. has the mind of a much more mature person. Mm -hmm. Like she does, like, I, I think she does have the right to have some sort of say in her own future. But I mean, the grand irony here is that, Let's say Marlene and the Firefly say, sit Ellie down, and they're like, all right, so we want your opinion on this. You can save all of humanity. Like, who's to say that she's like, I don't want that, and they go ahead and they do it to her anyway. It's like they might not even care at the end of the day how they how she feels about it. Like, that's one of the many big variables that are care. like. Yeah, it's like they don't they clearly they don't care because they didn't even talk to her about it. It's just the situation here where it feels like you can sort of talk yourself in or out of whatever stance you kind of want to here. And I think Joel, he's sort of operating from this plane at the end of the episode where he's just sort of like, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to like the other side of whatever Ellie finds out. So nobody else is going to be around to tell Ellie the truth. So I can sort of rationalize this in my head. Except those nurses he left alive. I was really surprised he did that because... He, I don't think he ever planned on telling Ellie the truth. So for him to have gone through and taken out that whole hospital and leave anyone, anyone alive was kind of a surprise. I mean, I know that Joel isn't a person who's like, I'm killing because I love it or I, you know, I just am that kind of guy sort of thing. He's doing it to save Ellie. And if he doesn't have to kill someone, he's not going to. But at the same time, if he already was kind of playing in his head where he was like, man, she can never find out about this, then those three nurses need to not be living because there are people out there that know that this lie that he has told Ellie that she was like, so where to me, this is all going to come back so badly, so badly next season, this lie. It is such a massive lie where she is like, so where to me that this is true, everything you told me. Because clearly she, there's a little part of her is just like, I, I don't know about this. I don't know if it's true. And he's like, I swear. Oh my God. I just, I was like, oh no, like this is going to be so bad. This is going to be so bad. It's probably going to be very, very bad. It, she's going to be crushed. Yeah, like she's going to be crushed. She's going to be hurt. I mean, I think she's going to be hurt, you know, if he tells her the truth about everything with the Fireflies, she's going to be hurt by the Fireflies as well, that she's sort of been put in this position where she didn't have any authority over what was going to be done <laughs> at all. I, I think Joel, in leaving them alive, I think he just, he felt somewhere within him that that was the quote unquote right thing to do because they were helpless, because they were innocent, they were doing what he asked them to do. And so he couldn't bring himself to, I guess, go to that level. But he's innocent. They were about to like cut into her head without her knowledge of what was really happening. That's what no one is innocent in this. That's still what he must have felt. Though. I agree. Like, he, he probably did. He just. He's just in a very, he's in a very weird headspace because I think the the big corrupting influence here above all else is Ellie because it's just mm -hmm. sort of like, this is a bond and this is sort of like an unconditional love that he has for her at this point that when you care about someone this deeply, you don't 
think in the way that you would think in any other situation. I think if he didn't have any attachment to Ellie at all, I mean, he would be rallying just like Marlene is rallying. And Marlene <laughs> did have a relationship with her, but I think he would feel totally different. Okay, here's the question for you guys and also for you. All right, all right. If Ellie had a choice, what would she have chosen if she actually knew that she was going to have to die and that this would save everyone? Would she be able to make the choice or would she say no? Or would it be somewhere in the middle, which is where I land? I think that she'd be like, yeah, I think I can do this. But then at the last minute, like would not be able to go through it. Kind of like the story that Joel told her and told all of us about how he felt after everything happened with Sarah and that he was the guy who missed and that at the last minute he flinched at pulling the trigger. So, I mean, I'm wondering if it might be kind of that situation. I kind of feel like she would say yes. Like, I think she would say yes in that moment. Yeah, for sure. I will save all of humanity. Like that was sort of my gut reaction when you know the the idea of this question first comes up it's like okay you know we know that ellie we got to finish what we started you know yeah. she makes that big point of that in this episode when joel's like let's just go away go back to tommy we don't have to finish any of this so i think couldn't they just live on the roof with all those giraffes okay you what know an amazing <laughs> scene so good that was so come on Aww. last of us way to so like good. give us like a false sense of security for like one second, this giraffe was like a harbinger of doom. It was like, this is the last happy thing that you guys are going to experience in the rest of this entire episode. And it's a freaking giraffe. But it is, it's, I think it's a very, it's a very tough thing because I think Ellie, you know, if Ellie is asked this question, she would probably be like, yeah, I, I would save people. But there's a, there's a difference between like saying that mm -hmm. and then being in the situation, like right when it's about to happen, yes. she might do exactly what you just suggested that she might do, which is pull away and be like, okay, you know what? I can't do this. And where do you land on it? I land on it, you know, for me personally or, or for me thinking about Rally. it. Okay. Would Ellie do it? Do I you think, think she would. I think she would. I, I, I think she would. Like, I think there's a chance, though, that it, it does end up like you say, where she's like, I don't know if she can. But I think at that point, they're just not going to care. Like, like, we've already been over. They don't care. So I think yeah. she's just going to be put in a position where if she even says for a split second, let's do this, they're going to be like, okay. And that's the end of the discussion. I think if she knew that it was a for sure thing, she <laughs> would go through with it. But I think with it being like, theoretically, this is going to work. We think it's going to work. I think she, she would say yes, but at the last minute be like, I'm going to, I'm going to die on a possibility. Like yeah. this is a little bit much, man, but it was good to get that background on Ellie's mom and yeah. how she ended up actually possibly, probably becoming immune to this, that her mom had been bit before the cord was cut and that she ended up getting some sort of immunity from that and that this has sort of been a thing that's been throughout her whole life. But it also was good to get some background on actually what ended up happening with Riley because we all had an idea of how that it probably went about, but yeah. there were still some question marks. It was like, maybe they ended up calling Marlene. Maybe Marlene took care of it. Maybe Riley turned and Ellie was like, nothing's happening to me. I, I don't understand. And, you know, that is what happened. She ended up having to kill her best friend, someone she loved, someone that she, you know, was starting a relationship with that ended so quickly because they had gotten bit. But it was very interesting because in that Riley episode where she was like, I asked Marlene if you could join the Fireflies and they don't want you to Ellie. I was like, they don't want her. That is really yeah. interesting. Why didn't they want her? And now we know. That context, it changes a lot in terms of, you know, Ellie's backstory, how everything goes. I mean, the the thing with Anna, you know, Ashley Johnson's, which was cool to see her, you know, another callback. But I think what is interesting to me about this and the insight we have is that now you can sort of, this is about to venture into really weird territory, so prepare yourselves, everybody. All right, but we're like, hitting the curve. Here's the curve. Couldn't they simulate something like this? In the future, like, does Ellie really have to be the only person that's the cure? If, like, if they know 
this is exactly why Ellie is immune. Can't you find a way, and I understand this could take some time to sort of recreate this and sort of have someone else be the quote-unquote test subject it's messed up but you know it feels like that's theoretically possible it's possible but then it ends up in the same sort of situation someone's yeah. gonna end up dead so is it ellie or the other kids that end up yeah. becoming immune or is it now the moms that they're you know giving birth and right when they've given birth they get bit and then they have to die like it's so so morbid either yeah. way i think the the only reason i'm even thinking about this i swear it's not because i'm just messed up in the head it's just that it's I a think messed up show it's a messed up show it's just like i don't need this to be you know the walking dead <laughs> where it just feels like everything is just entirely hopeless forever and it's sort of like you know we know there's another season we know there's mm -hmm. another game out there and it's just for me i still need to cling to that idea that like okay you know there is still an opportunity for Things to be cured in some shape or form. You know, if those nurses do come back, Ellie could still make a decision potentially down the road. Other people could end up being the kids. Just to me, it, that's important that that is still there because I need to I need to know or believe there's a chance that things could change. I absolutely still believe, even though we're at this point right now where Joel has fed her the biggest lie where he's yeah. like oh man there's like a whole there's a whole bunch of you and it turns out that it's not working with anybody don't worry about it. let's go live on the sheep farm or go to the moon it was yeah. just like oh, all right come on okay she's buying it now because you you know sworn yeah. that it's true or whatever but it is still in this universe that ellie is still there she is still somebody who theoretically could be part of a cure I feel like she's going to find out, like, I understand that he killed everybody except for those three people in the hospital. Eventually, that information is going to spread out and she is going to find out about it. I just don't believe she's not going to find out about it. I think if nothing else, eventually she's going to run into enough other people and just be like, there's nobody else like me. What were you saying? There's all these other people like me. Yeah, or if there's other fireflies all over the place and those nurses are like, hey, yo, this is what yeah. happened. You know, she's still out. They're like, I was, uh, that was the part of this episode that I was just like, I just didn't believe that he would leave anyone alive because those nurses are part of this. They're going to tell somebody else it is going to continue on. That's what I feel. I think regardless of the million opinions that are out there, I think this is a I very- I can't wait to hear them. I, I, I'm excited to hear them. I'm excited to hear people's take about this season overall because I think it's a really good show. Really good. I think the the biggest flaw in it is, is I think this show benefits a lot by being a weekly show. I think mm -hmm. binge watching- it would be really weird pacing wise to go from like this 43 minute episode tonight. That's just like boom to like, you know, the hour and 20 minute Bill and Frank story, which was amazing, but also it's just paced so differently. I think there are some flaws when it comes to that, but I just think in general, it's the best video game adaptation I think we've ever seen. A hundred percent. It's, it's phenomenal. And tonight's episode, it did go by like that. It yeah. was it was too short. Oh yeah. my goodness. I mean, I just, now we're sitting in this period where we're like, when's it coming back? You know, <laughs> I want to see some more. And that's what you want from a show. You want to feel like, yeah. when can I get more? And that's exactly where I've left this season. Great ride through the yeah. whole thing. It, wonderful characters, crazy world that's been put together. It's so good. Well, let's turn this over to you guys now and feel free to share this video around social media, anywhere else. Let's build up this discussion. Thank you for watching and we'll see you here next time.